Hi everybody, I'm Stefan Holt and this is News 4 Now for Wednesday, November 13th, which you probably don't need me to tell you was the coldest day since last winter. Tomorrow it's not going to be as bad, but I wouldn't call it warm. Expect high temperatures in the 40s. All right, let's get to a very busy day in Washington today as House investigators open public impeachment hearings. If you would both rise. Career diplomats William Taylor and George Kent were the first witnesses to take the stand, and they broke down what was going on behind the scenes in Ukraine and whether the president threatened to withhold military aid if officials there didn't investigate Joe Biden and his son Hunter. And as has been in the case throughout the entire inquiry so far, Democrats and Republicans found themselves on opposite sides. For the millions of Americans viewing today, the two most important facts are the following. Number one, Ukraine received the aid. Number two, there was in fact no investigation into Biden. The president of the United States either committed extortion and bribery of a foreign official or attempted extortion and bribery of a foreign official. And we didn't have to wait long to get reaction from the president on the hearings. He said he didn't watch, but called the whole process a witch hunt. Uh, this is a sham and uh, shouldn't be allowed. The president added that he was going to release a new summary of a call with Ukrainian president tomorrow. On Staten Island, police are intensifying the search for a New Jersey woman who vanished two weeks ago. Chopper 4 spotted the NYPD swarming Long Pond Park earlier this afternoon. It's not clear if they found any signs of 25-year-old Stephanie Pars. She vanished the day before Halloween, leaving her car, her phone, and even her dog behind. Her dad says he's holding out hope that she's okay. I don't know what to think, you know, so many crazy people in this world. Police say one of the 25 year olds ex boyfriends is a person of interest in the case. Now to a bunch of turkeys that have been terrorizing a town in New Jersey, but now they're getting the boot. The turkeys hanging out in a Tom's River retirement community have been breaking windows, blocking roads, even attacking people. State wildlife officials are now stepping in to give the birds a new home more suitable for their antics. You know those new Omni readers popping up all over the subway system? The MTA says they're not only quicker than Metro cards, they're actually better for the environment. The MTA makes about 10 million plastic Metro cards every year, but by the time the new tap and go system is fully in place in 2023, that number will be zero. All right, well, that's all for news for now, but stick around to see why it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas here in Rockefeller Center. I'm Stefan Holt. Stay warm out there.